Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome to English for Non-Subject Specialist, third semester for medical students at Tripoli University, class number 12. Today, uh, my dear students, we are going to talk about one of the major, we say, uh, major uh, subject specialists for a medical career, which is the OBGYN or the gynecology. And of course, this part of medicine or this branch of medicine is extremely important for the life and the, uh, and the communities. And of course, many of you, inshallah, in the future will, will become specialists in this branch. Welcome again. And uh, we are going, uh, as usual, to start listening to talk about the, uh, the parts related to pregnancy and, uh, uh, and gynecology. And of course, this is, uh, uh, we start always with listening. And then after that, we are going to answer the questions as they come in order. So welcome to the class and let's start the listening now. Listen, please. Unit 13, OB, GYN. Exercise five, page 29. Midwest OB, GYN clinic. Services offered. At Midwest OBGYN Clinic, we offer complete medical care for women at every stage of their life cycle. Many specific services are tailored to pregnant women and those going through menopause. Pregnancy. Midwest OBGYN Clinic provides care during all three trimesters of pregnancy. Regular appointments and ultrasounds safeguard the health of both the mother and child. Our clinic also conducts fertility treatments for women finding it difficult to become pregnant. For example, some women undergo progesterone therapy before and during pregnancy. Midwest also offers classes for expecting parents. Topics include how to prepare for labor, what to do when your water breaks, the possibility of a C-section delivery when necessary, what to do when you arrive home with your newborn. Please remember that our clinic does not provide emergency services. You should contact the hospital's OB triage station if you are having rapid contractions or experience a medical emergency during pregnancy. Menopause Menopause is a natural stage in every woman's life. Still, the hot flashes, emotional impact and other effects can be difficult to handle. Women going through menopause can schedule regular appointments at our clinic. We can advise patients on lifestyle changes to make menopause more comfortable. We also offer hormone therapies, such as estrogen treatments, should they be necessary. Okay, we uh, listened to the introduction about the uh, OBG, uh, OBGYN clinic. And now we are going to listen again. And uh, we are going to answer the questions as they come in order, the true and false. Question number one, the clinic offers classes on the changes that occur in menopause. Number two, pregnant women should contact the clinic in an emergency. And finally, the clinic gives uh, pro progesterone uh, treatments to women in menopause. So, so let's check if, this, if these sentences uh, are true or false. Listen again and answer the questions. Unit 13, OB, GYN. Exercise five, page 29. Midwest OBGYN Clinic. Services offered. At Midwest OBGYN Clinic, we offer complete medical care for women at every stage of their life cycle. Many specific services are tailored to pregnant women and those going through menopause. Pregnancy. Midwest OBGYN Clinic provides care during all three trimesters of pregnancy. Regular appointments and ultrasounds safeguard the health of both the mother and child. 
Our clinic also conducts fertility treatments for women finding it difficult to become pregnant. For example, some women undergo progesterone therapy before and during pregnancy. Midwest also offers classes for expecting parents. Topics include how to prepare for labor, what to do when your water breaks, the possibility of a C section delivery when necessary, what to do when you arrive home with your newborn. Please remember that our clinic does not provide emergency services. You should contact the hospital's OB triage station if you are having rapid contractions or experience a medical emergency during pregnancy. Menopause. Menopause is a natural stage in every woman's life. Still, the hot flashes, emotional impact, and other effects can be difficult to handle. Women going through menopause can schedule regular appointments at our clinic. We can advise patients on lifestyle changes to make menopause more comfortable. We also offer hormone therapies, such as estrogen treatments, should they be necessary. Okay, now we have the uh, questions. Number one, the clinic offers classes on the changes that occur in, uh, in menopause. So this is... So it's not classes. The clinic doesn't provide classes, so this is false. Number two, a pregnant woman should contact the clinic in uh, an emergency. No, it. This is again false. So number two is false. Uh, the clinic gives progesterone treatments to women in, in menopause. Yes, this is again false. So number one false, number two false, and number three is false too. Now we have the vocabulary matching. As usual, we have a list of vocabulary, estrogen, menopause, hot uh, flash, uh, trimester and labor, progesterone and breakwater. Now we are going and we are going to uh, match the definitions from number one to, to seven to definitions A to G. Number one, estrogen. The estrogen is number F. Yes, so number F is a hormone that produced in uh, ovaries, which regulates the uh, menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. Menopause. Menopause is D. It's the end of woman's menstruation after which she is no longer capable of becoming pregnant. Hot flash. Hot flash number A is a sudden sensation of heat in the face and neck that is triggered by hormone changes. Okay. Trimester. Trimester. A trimester is number E. A period of three months that pregnancy is commonly divided into. So three different stages. Number five, labor is B, natural childbirth process in which a woman's uterus contracts in preparation to deliver the baby. Yes. Progesterone, a progesterone is number C. It is a hormone that is produced in the ovaries which prepares the uterus learning for uh, pregnancy. Breakwater, number seven, is G. It is a release uh, amniotic fluid after the placenta uh, ruptures. Yes, ruptures. Okay. So that's number the breakwater. Yes. 
So this is the end of the uh, definitions. Now we go to the next page. Now we have the, uh, the definitions again, and we have to fill the gaps with the needed words. So we have fertility pregnancy, and we have OBG triage and OBGYN, and then we have C-section and contraction. So number one, her third was free of any serious issues. So, of course, her third pregnancy. So pregnancy is number A. Her third pregnancy was free of any serious issues. Number B, the woman sought fertility treatments to increase her chance of having a child. So number B is fertility. So the woman sought fertility treatments to increase her chance of having a child. OBG triage and OBG, OBGYN. Number A, the woman, OBG triage. So this is A, because uh, called OBG triage because she started labor too early. Then number B, the field of OBG, YN, which is number B, involves much more just delivering babies, of course. Number three, make sure it is not a false contraction. So number three is A. Make sure it is not a false contraction before you go to the hospital. And a C-section was necessary to avoid labor complications. Yes, C-section is means cesarean, cesarean uh, operation, cesarean. From C, C from Caesar, the first one who used this <coughs> treatment was in the time of Caesar. I had Roman Kudama Fasumiat Caesarian section. Okay. Now we have the listening again and a conversation between a pregnant woman and a nurse. And uh, we are going to choose the two questions. Number one, what is the conversation mainly about? Is it about the likelihood of an emergency C section? How to prepare for labor at the hospital? Why the woman is having Braxton Hicks uh, contractions, and whether the woman is in labor or not. And number two, what does the man recommend that the woman do? The nurse, I mean, stay home undressed, come to OBG triage, go to the hospital, wait until water breaks. So we have the listening, so we, are, we have to listen now. Again, and answer the for the two questions. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-nine. OB triage unit, how can I help you? Hi, I'm at thirty-eight weeks and I'm experiencing some contractions. I think I might be in labor. Okay. Stay calm. Have you noticed an increase in discharge? Yes, a little bit. Do you know if your water broke already? No, not yet. All right. Are the contractions becoming more frequent? Yes, they are. They were about 15 minutes apart, but now they're about every 10 minutes. OK, those don't sound like Braxton Hicks contractions. I think you are in the early stages of labour, but it's still not quite time for you to come in. Really? It's starting to get painful. Don't worry, that's normal. But we recommend waiting until the contractions are about four minutes apart. Oh, OK. Is there anything I need to do until then? Just rest and stay as comfortable as you can. And make sure you have a bag packed with everything you need. I've got one. Great. So hang in there and keep timing those contractions. OK. 
And should I go to OB triage when I'm ready to come in? Yes, you should. Okay, listen to the uh, conversation between the nurse and the patient. And then we are going to answer the questions one and two. Exercises six and seven, page 29. OB triage unit, how can I help you? Hi, I'm at 38 weeks and I'm experiencing some contractions. I think I might be in labor. Okay, stay calm. Have you noticed an increase in discharge? Yes, a little bit. Do you know if your water broke already? No, not yet. All right. Are the contractions becoming more frequent? Yes, they are. They were about 15 minutes apart, but now they're about every 10 minutes. OK, those don't sound like Braxton Hicks contractions. I think you're in the early stages of labour, but it's still not quite time for you to come in. Really? It's starting to get painful. Don't worry, that's normal. But we recommend waiting until the contractions are about four minutes apart. Oh, OK. Is there anything I need to do until then? Just rest and stay as comfortable as you can. And make sure you have a bag packed with everything you need. I've got one. Great. So hang in there and keep timing those contractions. OK. And should I go to OB triage when I'm ready to come in? Yes, you should. Okay. Now, number one. Number one is what is the conversation mainly about? Yes, it is number D, whether the woman is in labor or not. Number two, what does the man recommend that the woman do? Yes, sir. he recommended that she should stay at home and have some rest. So this is A. Now we are going to fill the gaps uh, as usual. We have some the uh, the same conversation. Yes, the same conversation here. Yeah. Okay, now let's listen again and finish the conversation between the nurse and the patient. Okay, here, here you are. Listen, please, and answer the questions as usual as they come in turn. Page 29. OB triage unit, how can I help you? Hi, I'm at 38 weeks and I'm experiencing some contractions. I think I might be in labor. Okay, I might, I might be in labor. Then the nurse. Um, have you noticed an increase in discharge? Okay, stay calm. Have you noticed? an increase in discharge increase in discharge yes a little bit do you know if your water broke already if your water Broke already. No, not yet. All right. Are the contractions becoming more frequent? Are becoming more frequent. More frequent. Yes, they are. They were about 15 minutes apart, but now they're about every 10 minutes. About, yes, 15 minutes apart. Yeah, 
but now they are about every 10 minutes. The last one. Okay, those don't sound like Braxton Hicks contractions. I think you're in the early stages of labour, but it's still not quite time for you to come in. Really? It's starting to get painful. Don't worry, that's normal. But we recommend waiting until the contractions are about four minutes apart. Oh, okay. Is there anything I need to do until then? Just rest and stay as comfortable as you can. And make sure you have a bag packed with everything you need. I've got one. Great. So hang in there and keep timing those contractions. Okay. And should I go to OB triage when I'm ready to come in? Yes, you should. Okay, so this is the end of the conversation between the nurse and the woman, the pregnant woman. Now we are going to, today, we are going to have the language part, which is as usual, the uh, grammar part. And of course, I don't like to call the grammar because grammar is only rules, but we are dealing with language now. So today we are going to, for the first time in this semester, which is just to um, an introduction for your future career, inshallah, and for your future level of English. Today, we are going to deal with complex structures, compound complex structures. اليوم راح نبدأ مع التركيبات. سنبدأ مع الأشياء أو تسمى بالجمل المركبة. Now we have that means more than one idea. إذا حيكون عندنا أكثر من فكرة في جملة واحدة. The level of English مستوى اللغة الإنجليزية يقاس على ما مدى قابلية الطالب أو المتكلم على استخدام التراكيب اللغوية. فكل ما كانت التراكيب مركبة أو مجمعة أكثر من فكرة في جملة واحدة معناها يسموها جمل مركبة أو جمل معقدة في بعض التسميات تعتبر اللغة متقدمة وهذا هو المستوى المطلوب للأطباء أو الذين عاملين في القطاع الصحي. So today we are going to talk about something called relative clauses اللي هي العبارات أو ربط الجمل التي لها علاقة ببعضها. فحنبدأ عفوا في unit 70 هنبدأ في unit 71 هو unit 70 اللي اللي هو أحد ال ال chapters المهمة جدا فحناخذ ال relative clauses اللي هي باستخدام أدوات الربط ال who وال which وال that إلى آخره. فأدوات الربط تربط فكرتين يعني ليهم علاقة فيما بعض في جملة واحدة وهناك نوعين من الأدوات الربط التي تتكلم عن العاقل إذا كان هناك الفاعل شخص عاقل يعني بشر أو نتكلم عن أشياء اللي هي غير عاقلة هذه هي الفكرة الغرض من هذا الدرس هو فتح المجال أمام اللغة المتقدمة في استخدامات المصطلحات الطبيه لانه كل ما استخدمناه خصوصا في الليسننج الاستماع في في الحصص الماضيه من الدرس الاول الى الدرس الان هذا الدرس الان اليوم كان ايضا في كلام في صيغ المتقدمه هنبدا اليوم الشرح بامثله مبسطه ثم شوي شوي نتقدم نحو الامثله الاكثر A relative clause gives more information about someone or something referred to in a main clause. If a relative, which is not the relationship, gives some someone or something referred to in the main clause. إذا حيكون عندنا هناك جزئين في هذه الجملة، الجزء الأول ما يسمى بالمين كلوز العبارة الرئيسية أو التي تحمل المعنى الرئيسي، والجزء الثاني من الجملة اللي هم يسموه سبورتنج أور كوردينيتنج كلوز العبارة المساندة، أي هناك شيء رئيسي يحمل المعنى ثم عبارة تساند المعنى الرئيسي من أجل إعطاء معنى كامل ومعنى مفصل عن الشيء أو عن الشخص هنشوف الآن مثلا الجملة الأولى The couple who live next to us have 16 grandchildren أول نوع من الـ الـ relative clauses هنتكلم عن 
اللي تتكلم عن ال يسموه ديفايننج اي المعرفه ديفايننج ريتيف كلوزز وهذه الديفايننج اي تعطيني معلومه معلومه محدده عن الشيء يعني مثلا ذا كابل هو ليف نيكست تو اس اذا عندي كابل كلمه كابل معناها الزوج وزوجته يعني ذكر وانثى كلمه كابل means two people male and female فاذا ذا كابل اي كابل اي زوجين اي زوج هنقول هو ليف نيكست تو اس معناها الذين يعيشون جنبنا فهذا الذين يعيشون جنبنا تعطي معلومه مؤكده ومعلومه مفصله عن الذي يعيش جنبي منه في ناس كثيره تعيش جنبي لكن عندي ذا كابل اللي هم الزوج والزوجه هو ليف نيكست تو اس هاف 16 جراند شيلدرن فحنغير اللون امامكم الان وحستخدم اللون الاحمر مع المين المين كلوز يسموه العباره الرئيسيه ذا كابل هذه هي العباره الرئيسيه هاف 16 جراند شيلدرن الرجل وزوجته عندهم 16 حفيد 16 حفيد اذا هذه هي يسموها ماذا؟ هذه تسمى المين كلوز العباره الرئيسيه عباره رئيسيه اريد نسموها ديفايننج كلوز نضيف عليها عباره معرفه تعرف الكبل هنختار لون اخر وهذه حتسمى ديفايننج معرفه اذا هو ليف نيكست تو اس فاذا انا اسالك حتقول لي انت ذا كبل هاف 16 جراند شيلدرن انا اسالك ويتش كبل وات كبل اي كبل اللي عندهم 16 حتقول لي هو ليف next to us اللي يعيشون بيتهم ملاصق لبيتنا نجمع الفكرتين مع بعض هنقول the couple who live next to us have children just 16 uh, grandchildren اذا هنا هذه تسمى supporting defining clothes defining defining يعني معرفة تعرف الكبل تعرفهم هناك أكيد أزواج كثيرين جيران كثيرين عندهم أحفاد لكن هذا بالذات they have 16 grand children عندهم 16 حفي Andrew stopped the police car that was driving past then هناك كانت سيارة شرطة تمر من جنبنا أوقفها أندرو طبعا هناك سيارات شرطة كثيرة بل مئات في المدن الكبيرة ممكن آلاف حتى لكن أندرو أي وحدة اللي وقف أي وحدة من هذه المئات وحدة معرفة محددة بذات اللي مرت بحدانا اللي مرت من جنبنا إذا مرت من جنبنا أوقفها مش أي سيارة هناك المئات في المدينة لكن وحدة منهم بالذات اللي أندرو تم إيقاف هذه السيارة فإذا جمعنا فكرتين أندرو أوقف السيارة الشرطة أي سيارة أي سيارة اللي مرت من جنبه إذا أندرو أوقف السيارة التي مرت من جنبه فأندرو stop the police car that فهذه that تعود على police car that was driving past Notice we don't put a comma between the noun and defining relative clause هنا لا نضع أي comma ما بين الهو Well, the couple, لو تلاحظون who the couple, لا يوجد كومة بينهم, وذات والكار برضو لا يوجد بينهم كومة لماذا؟ لأنه هنا عبارة معرفة مباشرة لهذا المعنى. أوكي، حنجي مرة. مرات يكون عندنا حاجة يسموها zero relative. أي لا نحتاج إلى أداة الربط الوجه والذات لأنه المعنى يصل. مثلا, we went to a restaurant Jane had recommended to us. We went to a restaurant. ذهبنا إلى مطعم. طبعاً هناك مئات المطاعم، لكن أي مطعم تم تحديده اللي هو اللي هو Jane had recommended to us. اللي تكلمت عليه Jane. اللي Jane شكرت فيه. اللي Jane قالت هذا أحسن مطعم تمشوا له. إذا مشينا للمطعم الذي الذي Jane رشحته لنا أو زكته لنا. فإذا هنا حنقول we went to a restaurant Jane had recommended فتسمى zero لماذا zero هنا؟ لأن استغنينا عن الوجه والذات 
لاختصار الكلام او نستطيع نستطيع ان نستعمل ذات We went to a restaurant which Jane recommended to us. That Jane recommended to us. فأنتم الآن مخيرين في بعض الجمل للاختصار أنه لا نستعمل أداة الربط that or which اللي هي اللي سموها zero relative pronoun ضمير الربط لا نستبعد ال which with that وال who لأنه لا حاجة له يعني ذهبنا للمطعم جين اللي اوصت به معناها الذي اوصت به فمعروفه كلمه الذي واضحه يعني واصله في المعنى اوكي حنجي الى الجمل التي بعدها the building for sale حنجي لهذه العباره the building for sale was the house which had a slate roof and was by the street, uh, the street. The building for sale was building huna. Kilmet building was the house. Either the bait, the bait, can the manzil, a manzil, a manzil, which had a slate roof and was by the stream. Either huna al jumla thani. So either hadi kulha to arf al bait. Either huna lika. بيت كان معروف للبيع أي بيت هناك المئات من البيوت المعروفة للبيع الآلاف لكن هذا ميزة معرف ما هو which had a slight roof عنده سقف منحني بهذا الشكل مائل وليس مائل فقط and was by the stream وقرب جدول الماء فهناك جدول صغير ممكن قريب من عنده فأصبح تعريف مباشر البيت البيت ذو السقف المائل والذي يقع جنب جدول الماء اذا هناك جدول واحد وبيت واحد الذي ملاصق لجدول الماء فهذا هو تعريفه فاذا اصبح هنا defining relative close اوكي okay. اذا فنقول هنا the building for sale was the house which had a slate roof and was by the stream بدل ما نقول the building for sale was the house by the stream which had a slate roof. We don't هنا لا نقول جملة بهذا الشكل. هنا مرات يكون عندنا الذي نتكلم عليه يكون هو الفاعل في الجملة أو المفعول به في الجملة. مثلاً الجملة الأولى اللي قلنا عليها the couple who the couple uh, أول جملة تكلمنا عليها the couple. كل ما couple هنا جت ب بيس محل فاعل سبجكت يعني هي الفاعل تاع الجمله the couple who live next to us have 16 grandchildren ومرات تكون الكلام اللي نتكلم عليه مفعول به اندرو ستوب ذا بوليس كار فهذه البوليس كار حنقول عليها اوبجكت اي مفعول به والكبل هنا بمحل سبجكت اي فاعل وهكذا اللغه يا شباب يا اما نتكلم ونعرف الفاعل يا اما نتكلم ونعرف المفعول به حسب الحاجه هل احتاج ان اعرف الفاعل نستخدم ريتيف كلوز للفاعل هل احتاج ان اشرح واوضح المفعول به استخدم واشرح المفعول به خلينا نشوف هذه الجمل التي ستاتي تباعا Okay. Rockall, Rockall is an, an is an uninhabited island. And then Rockall is in Rockall, who is in Jazeera, an uninhabited, a غير مسكونة فاضية island. And then هنا object متكلم عن المفعول به, which lies northwest of mainland Scotland. التي تقع عن شمال الغربي للبر الرئيسي في اسكتلندا. We have a friend, we have a friend, عندنا صديق who plays the piano or that plays the piano. اثنين يمشون صحيحة. إذا كان مرات اللي يهمني هو الأكشن اللي هو لعب يعني عزف البيانو فنقول that plays the piano. مرات يهمني الشخص نفسه هو الشخص يهمني فنقول who plays the piano. We use the relative pronoun uh, in the following sentences. The relative pronoun is the object. 
اذا هنا حيكون في المفعول به there is a noun or a pronoun between the relative pronoun and the verb in the relative clause حنشوف هنا he showed me the rocks he showed me the rocks هو يعني شوفني او وراني الصخور اي صخور he had brought back from australia ممكن نقول اللي هو جابها من استراليا او منقول which التي he had brought back from australia ففي الحالتين شوفني الصخور صخور هناك بالملايين لكن اي نوع من الصخور يعرفها تعريف هذه الصخور الصخور التي جابها من استراليا he showed me the rocks which he had brought back from australia فكلمه which هنا which التي أو الذي تعود على الصخور فنوضح نوع الصخور That's the man ذلك الرجل أي رجل I met at Alison's party اللي قابلته في حفلة أليسون إذا هنا تعريف للرجل أي رجل هناك آلاف ملايين الرجال لكن هذا بالذات أنا شفته قبل في حفلة أليسون إذا ممكن نقول That's the man I met at Alison's party. ما فيش داعي نحط أداة تعريف أو ضمير ربط اللي هو which with that or who أو نحطه حسب المعنى مطلوب. That's the man who I met. فإذا كان الكلام سريع نلغي الضمير فنقول that's the man I met at Alison's party أو أنا أتكلم براحتنا نقول that's the man who I met who I met at Alison's party. بالتأكيد أكثر فالاثنين الـ الـ الاستخدامين مسموح بها أوكي حنجي الآن مرات نستخدم أدوات ربط أخرى في درجات المقارنة زي كلمة something or anything Uh, or all little much none هاي حسب uh, الادوات المسموحه او الاشياء التي هي حتكون uh, مطلوبه في في المعنى these walls are all these walls are all that remain of the city هذه الحيطان او هذه الجدران هي كل ما تبقى من المدينه ممكن مدينه ضربها زلزال ممكن مدينه حصل لها حادث او شيء تسونامي كل ما تبقى فاذا all these walls are uh, that remain or that are remain فاذا هنا all that are all that فاستخدمت all هنا من اجل اعطاء وصف ادق انه كل لم يبقى في المدينه الا هذه الجدران She is one of the kindest people that I know, or who I know. Uh, sorry, or I know. Then she is one of the kindest. Yeah, من أضف الناس من أضرف الناس من أرق الناس. Then هنا استخدام صيغة مبالغة. هي واحدة من الناس طبعاً أكيد. لكن أي نوع من الناس الأضرف الأرق الأجمل. She is one of the kindest. She is one of the most beautiful people. That I know. Is there a, is there anything that I can do to help? <coughs> is there anything that I can do to help? Then, هنا تخصيص عفوا سؤال للتخصيص هل هناك شيء سوء عمل لك? Not can I help you? لكن is there anything that I can do to help? هنا نوع من التأكيد. على الشيء المطلوب للمساعدة. في بعض الأحيان ممكن نستخدم تعريف إضافي للشيء للسبجكت للفاعل أو للمفعول به، نستخدم هنا ضمير أو نستخدم كلمة للشرح مثلا The man who gave me the book was the librarian إذا the man who gave me the book إذن هنا المان حتكون librarian the man who gave me the book who gave me the book إذا أي شخص was the librarian فإذا هنا جاء التعريف في آخر الجملة 
اوكي مرات نجي ا a friend of mine who is a solicitor help me a friend of mine كلمة a friend of mine هنا شخص صديقي فأي صديق who is a solicitor solicitor معناه محامي lawyer a friend of mine أصل الجملة هي أصل الجملة a friend of mine help me a friend help me a friend of mine help me صديق ساعدني أي صديق who is a solicitor who is a lawyer Okay, who's an advocate? Advocate معناها advocator أو أو محامي. فكلمة محامي لها عدة كلمات في اللغة الإنجليزية. Lawyer, solicitor, advocator إلى آخره. إذا هنا أصبحت الجملة بهذا الشكل. إذا relative clauses مرة ثانية. اسمها relative defining relative define المعرفة. نقدم شيء من أجل زيادة المعنى لهذا الشيء نقوم بتعريفة بإضافة فكرة ملاصقة لي. من اجل انه يتم تعريفه، لماذا هذا التخصيص؟ لان عندنا نوع ثاني يسموها نون ديفايننج ريلاتيفز، الادوات او العبارات الغير معرفه. ليش؟ لانه تتكلم بصوره عامه عن اشياء اخرى غير معرفه او ليس لها علاقه مباشره بالفاعل او بالمفعول به. احنا نتكلم هنا كل الذي نقوم به الان هو عباره عن اعطاء معنى مع هذا المعنى شوية تفصيل أكثر شرح أكثر من أجل إغناء وإثراء المحادثة بدل أن نكرر في الكلام أو نعيد في الكلام أو نعطي جمل طويلة نستخدم هذه الرالاتيف كلوزز أي نربط فكرتين في جملة واحدة منها إثراء الكلام ومنها إعطاء اللي هي الجمل يسموها العبارات المركبة أو المعقدة نقوم الآن بحل التمارين اللي هي كما تأتي هنا أو في الشابتر أوكي go to chapter 70 Complete the sentences with the correct or most appropriate letter, relative pronoun. حنقوم هنا الآن بإكمال الجمل باستخدام الضمائر الصحيحة اللي هي ال who, ال which, or that. Number one. The thought of going home to his family was all kept him happy while he was working abroad. إذا حنخلي اللي هي راتب pronouns اللي هي ممكن حنقول who, which, with that ومرات تكون فاضية نخلي فاضية اللي ما تسمى بالزيرو أي يمشي المعنى بدون أداة ربط فأول واحدة فحنقول the thought of going home to his family was all that kept him لأنه the thought الفكرة فهي الفكرة غير عاقلة فحنستخدم that she was probably the hardest working student the hardest working student إذا هنا uh, I've ever taught هي أكثر طالبة مجدة درستها إذا هنا ممكن تكون زيرو ممكن تكون هذه عبارة زيرو لا نضع أي أدوات ربط أو أي ضمير أو ممكن نخلي ذات فالاثنين يمشوا لكن يفضل أنه تكون فاضية She was probably the hardest working student I've ever taught لماذا زيرو؟ للمعنى أنه يكون يمشي المعنى يكون أسرع في المشي أو أفضل Okay, number three Lewis, the man Johnson beat in the last World Championships, has broken the world record. He then, Lewis, the man Johnson beat. Beat هنا لا معناها يهزم وليس معناها يضرب. يعني مش معنى كلمة beat من ضمن اللغة يعني أشياء الجميلة في اللغة. مع الكلمة هي نفس الكلمة لكن تعطي معنيين. Beat كلمة beat يضرب أو يهزم. 
يعني يتفوق على في سباق مثلا برازيل Uh, has beaten مثلا دنمارك in the last match البرازيل فازت على الدنمارك has beaten بهذا الشكل فليس معناه ضرب ضرب لكن معناها فوز في مباراة فإذا جونسون لويس كار لويس اللي ممكن هذا العداء المشهور عداء الركض لويس the man yes اللي هو ذاعت ممكن أو نقدر نقول هو أو ذات الاثنين يمشوا ذات جونسون بيت in the last world championships has broken the world record إذا آه, لويس اللي الرجل اللي فاز عليه جونسون in the last who جونسون بيت in the last world championships has broken the world record آه, حطم هذا هو لويس الأرقام العالمية. نمبر 4 Lightning Yes Lightning but, uh, uh, Bonfires at this time of the year is a tradition goes back to the 17th century. Lighting Bonfires Bonfires اللي هي يعني إشعال النار في الخشب في, الـ في, الـ في الرحلات أو في, في المخيمات كنوع من التقليد يعني. Lighting bonfires at this time of the year is a tradition. Huna tradition mana taklid, which goes back to the 17th century. A ishal nar bi hadi tariqa ihtifaliya, ibar an taklid yaud ila karn al saba ashar. Number five, Dorothy said something I couldn't hear clearly. Dorothy said something. إذا number five ممكن تقعد فاضية هذه zero معنى ممكن تكون zero zero معناها لا يوجد أي أداة. Dorothy said something I couldn't hear clearly. قالت شيء لم أستطع أن أسمعه بوضوح أو ممكن خلي ذات حسب الحاجة إذا كان الفكرة تحبها تصل بسرعة But you can say Dorothy says something I couldn't hear clearly. Or ممكن أنت العبارة هذه مكتوبة في كتابة فتحتاج تفصيل. واحد يقول Dorothy says something that I couldn't hear clearly. حسب المطلوب من الجملة. Number six. There was little we could do to help her. ممكن خليها zero هنا. There was little we could do to help her, or there was little that we could do to help her. إذن هنالك حسب المعنى. إذا كانت اللغة متكلم بها بسرعة، فتحتاج بسرعة. فإذا هنا إلى that ممكن يكون that. Number seven. The Royal Floridian, the Royal Floridian is an express train. Then, the car is Royal Floridian, Florida or Florida the Maliki, is an express train. It's a car, runs between New York and Miami. يجري أو يسير ما بين ولاية New York وولاية Miami. Then, number seven. ممكن نقوله which أو that حسب ما يعجبكم the machine I have to use in my job cost over a million pounds إذا number eight ممكن هنا الحلول كلها ممكن تخلوها zero فاضية أو ممكن تستعملون معها that أو تستعملون معها which The machine I have to use in my job cost over a million pounds. The machine that I have to use in my job cost over a million pounds, or the machine which I have to use in my in my job cost over a million pounds. Then هنا حسب ما تحبون يا شباب. The diary Ron kept when he was in prison was sold for fifty thousand dollars. Diary here, المذكرات. هناك شخص اسمه رون 
كتب يوميات أو مذكراته في السجن إذا نمبر ناين ممكن أيضا نحطها زيرو ممكن نخلي ويتش أو ممكن تحطون ذات فإذا نقولون the diary wrong kept when he was in prison was sold for fifty thousand dollars or the diary which wrong kept when he was in prison was sold for fifty thousand dollars or or finally the diary that wrong kept when he was when he was in prison was sold for fifty thousand dollars. Number ten. I have a friend ran in the New York Marathon last year. Then عندي صديق. Then number. Then no friend. آخر فحنقول who. I have a friend who ran in the New York Marathon last year. عندي صديق. وهاي صديق عندي هاد كثير من الأصدقاء لكن واحد منهم محدد اللي ركض في ماراثون نيويورك العام الماضي. Number eleven. We were told that we would be held responsible for anything when wrong. We were told that تم إخبارنا we would be responsible for anything. هنكون مسؤولين عن أي شيء. Yes. Then هنا which which went wrong. He is probably the best golfer I played against. ممكن هنا خليها هذه هو أحسن لاعب جولف لعبت ضده أو لعبت معه أو ممكن نقوله دعت حسب ما يعجبكم من المعاني إذا كان معنى متكلم أو في لغة متكلمة سريعة ممكن نستخدمها أو ممكن نستعيض عنها بزيرو زيرو he is probably he is probably the best golfer I've I've ever played I've played I've played no other أنا جبت other من عندي he is probably the best golfer I've played I guess Okay, للتسهيل وللسرعة في الكلام. في عندنا التمرين الأخير. حنجي نأخذ هذه الجمل، حنعمل إذا كان هناك الجملة صحيحة راح نعمل عليها تك إنها صحيحة، وإذا كان هناك تحتاج إلى تصحيح حنصحح الضمير الموجود في الجملة. My brother who's in the army, he came to see us. هنا عندي الجملة هناك فيها خطأ. My brother who's in the army, he هنا ال he زايدة لا تحتاج إلى عادة الضمير. My brother who's in the army came to see us. My brother who's in the army. أخلي في الجيش جاء ليزورنا. إذا هنا حنستخدم he came. لا نحتاج إلى كلمة he. Yes, came to to see us. Okay. هنجي هنا. A small amount of money was all which was taken in the robbery. A small amount of money. was all which was taken in the robbery. Was all a small amount of, the, of money, a small, was all which was taken. إذن هنا حنشيل كلمة was a small amount of money all which was taken in the robbery The path was made by walkers who crossed the mountains each summer The path was made by walkers. Walkers who cross the mountains each summer. 
The difficulties of living near the volcano are well understood by the people farm the land there. The difficulties of living near the, the volcano are well understood by the people who, who farm the land, who farm the land. أو ممكن نقول حتى ذات ممكن حتى ذات تأتيك حل صحيح لأنه people عاقل فنحتاج إلى ضمير uh, pronoun ضمير يعود على العاقل who the danger of driving is something which worries me each time I travel the danger of driving is something that worries me each time I travel. Yes. يعني حتكون ألطف في الكلام وأفضل هي مش خطأ مش خطأ هذه الوجه لكن أفضل الصياغة اللي هي ذا. The park which I usually go running in is across the road. The park which I usually go running in is across the road. And then number six uh, has no problem. Number seven, the road is a bit I bought the present that I gave him for it for Christmas in Japan. Had it it ziada. I bought the present that I gave him for Christmas in Japan. I bought the present that I gave him for Christmas in Japan. Then Huna Shtaraitaha Menefil Yaban. Number eight. The person whom we selected to represent us on the committee has had to resign due to illness. The person whom Taban whom Hadi Ayyadamir Lakin Yustahdan fil Kitaba fil Hajat Rasbiya. يعني it is okay صحيحة لكن ممكن نستخدم كلمة who فالاثنين who أو whom تعتبر صحيح فهم is more formal we say whom أكثر رسمية يعني تستخدم في الكتابات في المراسلات ما بين الشركات في الدعوات الرسمية حاجات اللي هي لها علاقة باللغة الرصينة واللغة الرسمية الرسمية معناها ليست لغة شارع أي أي لغة أكاديمية لغة تجارية رسمية فيها نوع من الرسمية. Number nine. Number nine. It's one of the most interesting books I've read this year. It's one of the most interesting books. إذا هي هذه. I've read this year. إذا ممكن هذه أيضا صحيحة. إذا هنا أيضا العبارة صحيحة. إذا آه آه إلى هنا حنتوقف هنا اليوم طبعا حنكمل موضوع الـ Compound Complex Structures العبارات المركبة العبارات التي تحمل معنيين ومرة ثلاث معاني في جملة واحدة وهذه ستعطيكم بإذن الله دفعة نحو الأمام في تعلم اللغة المتقدمة كاستخدام وككتابة وكاستماع وكقراءة أي المهارات الأربعة ايضا نصيحتي لكم كما في كل حصه او ننصح في كل حصه you have to keep listening you have to improve your language by listening every day for 20 minutes minimum by doing this you are going to develop the input language and uh, consequently or as a result your output language will be really good so you can practice all the grammatical rules we have already taken from the beginning of this semester till now simply, easily, with, with, without, uh, we say, any complications, or we, we say without ado, in English they say without ado, uh, just listen. When you listen, the rules will keep coming in time, each rule by, by its time and in the right place, and in this way, you'll be okay, you'll be good, and you will use the language fluently as I wish that uh, each one of you would be able to, to, to use the language effectively and fluently. 
thank you for being with me <clears throat> and see you inshallah soon in the next classes and i wish you all the best paul my salam <laughs>